Another benefit that we see with adding the sugars to a spray mix, and literally guys, when I talk about the fact we use it with every application, I mean every application that we can get sugar to dissolve into something, it goes in the sprayer. We go in with our pre-emerge herbicide because that sugar and the nitrogen, we run 28% with our pre-emerge herbicides and some sort of a sugar source. Uh, then actually use molasses because molasses is very economical to use. It's, it's like 18 cents an acre to run a, an eight ounce or 16 ounce rate, very cheap to use. But what we can do then with pre-emerge is we can alter that carbon nitrogen ratio. Carbon nitrogen, excuse me, that carbon nitrogen ratio is what accelerates or slows down our decomposition process. When we have a really wide carbon nitrogen ratio, like wood chips, for example, at 500 to 1, they break down and decay very slowly. Corn stock residue is roughly 30 to 1. So it breaks down, but not real fast. When we can change that carbon nitrogen ratio by adding nitrogen, adding some carbon, we bring that ratio tighter together for faster decomposition. And basically, once again, what we're doing is we're taking that soil biology, we're adding the components that they like to eat, i.e. the energy and some nitrogen, we're putting that on that residue to where that soil biology is wanting to eat and feed on that residue. So we break that material down faster than just allowing it to lay there and volatilize. When we come back with our post applications, with our herbicides, at this point in time, one of the little benefits is it makes a really great drift guard. Um, you can actually tell when we have sugars in our sprayer because the stuff will seem to lay out better. And, and funny enough, actually one of the things that you'll see is when you go back touch them leaves, there'll be just a little bit of sticky. It's sugar. It's just a little sticky on them leaves. It also will help disperse. It's a good dispersing agent. So you're gonna have that dyne property. The dyne is the, the size or the molecular size of that droplet that's on the leaf. You can break that to where you don't have water droplets. You'll have more dispersion on the leaf, more coverage. Um, and once again, all we're doing is adding energy. And I kinda of like to use the analogy, if you don't think energy is a good, or excuse me, I like to use the analogy, if you don't think sugar is a good energy source, and an eight-year-old can of Mountain Dew half an hour before church. Then you will see what kind of an energy source sugar is. And that's what we're trying to do to the plants. That sugar is taken in through the plant leaves. It's also exudated out through the root system. Once again, soil biology is like, woo, something sweet and tasty. Soil biology comes in and starts to feed off of them sugar exudates. So we're helping to build that soil biology. Also, another side benefit. Insects cannot metabolize simple sugars. A lot of the organic people know this. Organic guys have used sugars for insecticides for years because the insects cannot metabolize that. So you know, there's a lot of very good benefits to using sugars. Uh, there's a lot of different sources that are available. Some of the ethanol plants will have residue material. Um, like I say, you can go to Walmart Make sure and buy the granulated, do not buy powdered sugar. If you buy powdered sugar, you're gonna have things plugged up that you didn't think would plug up. But uh, I recommend run it through an inductor, agitate it good, you know, you're just making a thousand gallon batch of sweet tea basically. Just make sure and stir it up and agitate it good. We have virtually never plugged up one of our sprayers by, by using a pound per acre of sugar. Uh, you know, take a 50 pound bag, that might be enough for, for one load on your sprayer but it's very easy to use. Um, don't worry about the fact that you've seen a great big yield response one way or another. Um, like I say, when you understand the components of plant composition, you understand the benefit of C6, H12, O6. When you understand that you only maybe tied up a couple bucks for the whole year with multiple applications, don't get so completely hung up on whether or not you got a return from it. It's a basic building block. You maybe pick up half a bushel. Most of our combine yield monitors won't narrow down to that tight of a parameter. But we still may have doubled our money. So I look at that sugar as it has many multitudes of benefit. It's a basic for protein production. 
It's a basis of all photosynthesis. It's just a basic of plant health.